don't know, Charlie, I wouldn't, I wouldn't blame business schools particularly for most of the ills, would you? I think they've taught the students a lot of nonsense about investments, but, but I don't think that's been the cause of great societal problems. What do you think? Uh, no, but it was a considerable sin. <laughs> Well, do you want to elaborate on what was the more sinful? Most no, no. But I think business school education is improving. Is the implication from a low base or? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'd agree with that. <laughs> now, now, in investing, I would say that. Uh, Probably the, uh, the silliest stuff that we've seen taught at major business schools probably has been, maybe it's because it's the area that we operate in, but it has been in the investment area. I mean, it is, it is astounding to me uh, how uh, the schools have focused on sort of one fad after another in, in uh, uh, finance theory. and. It's usually been very mathematically based. Uh, it, when it when it's become very popular, it's almost impossible to resist if you're if you, if you hope to make progress in 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 in, in or faculty advancement. Uh, going against the uh, revealed wisdom of your elders uh, is, is, can be very dangerous to your career path. And, uh, at um, major business schools, and and you know, really investing is not that complicated. I would have, you know, a couple of courses. I would have a course on how to value a business, and I would have a course on how to think about markets. And I think if people grasp uh, the basic principles in those two courses, uh, that they would be far better off than if they were exposed to a lot of things like modern portfolio theory or, or option pricing. I mean, who needs option pricing? You know, to be in an investment business, and that uh, you know, when when uh, when people, you know, when Ray Kroc started McDonald's, I mean, he was not thinking about the option value of what the McDonald's stock might be or something. He was thinking about whether people would buy hamburgers, you know, and what would cause them to come in, and how to make those fries different than other people's, and that sort of thing. It it, it it's totally drifted away. Uh, the teaching of investments. I look at I look at the books that are used sometimes, and and there's really nothing in there about about valuing businesses. It, uh, uh, and that's what investing is all about. It, if you buy businesses for less than they're worth, you're going to make money. And uh, and if you know the difference between the businesses that you can value and the ones that you can't value, you know, which is key, you're, you're going to make money. But but. Uh, They've tried to make it a lot more difficult, and of course that's what the high priests in any, in any particular arena do. They have to convince the, the laity that, that the priests have to be listened to. Charlie? Well, the, the folly creeps into the accounting too. A very long-term option on a big business you understand, the stock of a big business that you understand, or even a stock market index, should not be, it can, it, the optimal way to price it is not by using black shoals. And yet the accounting profession does that. They want some kind of a standardized solution that requires them not to think too hard. And, and they have one. Is there anybody we've forgotten to offend? If the, if you'll send a note up. I believe